Hi everyone, uh, it's great to meet all the new and uh, old uh, STV projects here. And um, uh, I just want to give you a quick summary of this uh, working group uh, who we'll try to come up with some use cases and, and some distros attached to these use cases for uh, providing quick starting points for um, adopters of uh, STV based technologies. Um, we used um, Let's see if it works. Yeah, um, I'm just going to skip this one. Uh, we used um, uh, uh, some of the um, uh, hack challenges that uh, these projects uh, tried to get together for the uh, Bosch BCX hackathon uh, in um, December as starting points. Um, but basically, um, uh, one of the things we wanted to do was we didn't want to call them uh, use cases at first because that may imply that they're real. And so these are basically showcases of the features and functionalities of the uh, uh, the STV projects. And another thing that we wanted to achieve was um, that uh, uh, we wanted uh, these uh, uh, use cases to be uh, a collaboration as opposed to being uh, fo or focusing on a single project. Uh, so um, basically this is a bottom up approach. Uh, Kind of in line with uh, one of the philosophies of the STV uh, 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 projects, uh, which is code first. Uh, not all these projects are made to work with each other. Uh, sometimes they're very different beasts, uh, but uh, uh, getting together with the project leaders and trying to define some uh, use cases where they can work together uh, gives us exposure to these technologies. Uh, and then we try to find out what they are, why they are there, and what they do. So uh, there's this top-down approach that uh, our technical alignment groups and the orchestration uh, uh, groups, uh, they try to map the projects into that big picture. Uh, but this is more of a bottom-up approach, uh, trying to put things together. Uh, so uh, another thing that we try to uh, sort of, uh, at least it's a goal, um, uh, the people who develop these projects, they also have some understanding of what the best practices are for using these technologies. So uh, these projects should uh, serve as good starting points for the adopters. Uh, even if they're not using that use case, they can look at the code and look at how it's implemented uh, and use it as a template for what they want to do. Um, uh, this is just a starting point, um, so um, uh, we want more of the projects uh, and users involved in these uh, use cases. Uh, we just had uh, uh, three or four meetings, um, and currently um, uh, we have uh, uh, two use cases uh, defined, uh, and um, uh, one of the um, uh, uh, goals that we're trying to achieve is have multiple STV projects exist in these use cases. I'm not trying to describe these use cases. Uh, each one has a coordinator associated with it. And uh, in the follow up collaboration sessions, you can um, meet with these people and try to understand the details of these uh, use cases and what they try to achieve. But um, so I'm not going to read what's on there. But what, what is yeah, what you can see is there is um, uh, uh, a part of the use case that's happening in the vehicle and another part that's happening in the cloud. And, um, and some of the technologies that are already part of the um, uh, STV projects are in these use cases. Of course, we try to uh, push as much of them together, but then it doesn't make sense. Some of them does not have a business case associated with it. So it's not possible to cram everything else in there. There's also other technologies. Some are from Eclipse and some are from other places that are uh, involved in these uh, showcases. So one of them is this fleet uh, management use case. So please find uh, Kai. Uh, he's the guy who asks questions to every speaker. <laughs> so the tall guy, you, can, you, you can't miss it. Uh, so you can uh, you can find him in the uh, uh, follow up session. Um, uh, it will also be some uh, sort of a, I won't I don't want to call the little sort of hacking session, but the people who are working on these uh, implementing these uh, use cases uh, will try to solve some of the problems and in terms of how they can make these talk to each other. Um, 
so this is uh, uh, basically the fleet management. The other one is uh, another beast, um, which is uh, for raw space solutions. Uh, again, uh, some of the common themes like chariot uh, is in this uh, use case. In some sense, it's, it follows a similar architecture. Something happens on the device and then it gets pushed onto some apps on the cloud. And there's some middleware involved, there's some orchestration involved, etc. Um, and I'm coordinating this one. And again, you can find me if you want to ask more questions. Um, and this is not the end. Uh, we want uh, this uh, to be an ongoing um, uh, process. Um, uh, currently, uh, we kind of ended our sessions and there's a Slack group, uh, but uh, uh, we want sort of a, a natural set of overseers of these use cases that can come from the projects themselves. Um, and um, I will definitely continue the online meetings. And uh, ideally, uh, these use cases can either live in some of the projects as examples, but if they cover uh, more, surf uh, more surface and more technologies, um, Eclipse is going to provide a repository uh, that we can uh, Use together to maintain and extend uh, these use cases uh, uh, for ongoing uh, uh, work. Um, the other thing that is sort of uh, used uh, in the presentation is the word distro. It is used very loosely. Um, uh, basically, what we mean by the distro is something that you can quickly spin up to run this use case. So, it, uh, in some cases, it's a uh, uh, sort of a uh, a, a Yocto based Linux distribution with all the software built into it, an image that you can just burn onto a device or even maybe run on some emulators. In other cases, it's basically uh, maybe Docker images and some other cloud based manifest that you can deploy very easily onto um, a cloud provider, etc. So we're using the word distro very loosely. Uh, there may be multiples, conflicting, competing distros because not all requirements uh, are uh, set in stone. Um, basically, um, SDV is discovering itself. Uh, so this is part of the discovery process. And uh, we'll see what works together, what doesn't work, what is too artificial, what is forced, what works, what doesn't. And hopefully that will complement the top-down work of uh, trying to define what's orchestration, what's scheduling, what all those things are. So. I think with that, uh, there is a, um, uh, a wiki and a repository on the uh, GitLab Eclipse uh, where we keep all the meeting notes and uh, there's more sort of detailed descriptions of these uh, showcases uh, as they are happening. Um, and hopefully it will move to a, a code stage. Uh, there's some implementations of the FMS and also the other one, the ROS based uh, use case that will uh, find its place through repositories after the initial hacking is uh, completed. So uh, that's it. Maybe it was a too, too quick one, but no, no, yeah, uh, you're invited to the open collaboration sessions um, uh, to talk to the people uh, and work on it or become a part of it or come up with a completely new use case. Uh, one requirement, it cannot be just your project. You have to, <laughs> you have to work with another SDV project and show that you can integrate and that these things can work together uh, for a common purpose. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. So any generic question? Okay. So this is like the pitch for the open collaboration. So basically it describes two of the breakout rooms. Yes. Uh, yes. Could you go back to the slide of one of the use cases? If I can manage it, yes. Because. <laughs> um, OK, this one? Yeah. OK. So I, I think, I mean, maybe I'm biased, but okay. I think this is a, a good example of how if we align on some agreement of an overall language and strategy, then we could start dividing and conquering like uh, projects based on, because I see a lot of things mixed in here of we'll do something one way and then we'll convert it and do it something in another project and convert it so um having said that i i see how you know if we if we say we'll use the 
uh, what we call the U protocol, and then we implement parts of it using this project and that project and that project. Then we have at least a solution. Not in. Oh, well, we're going to be there. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so that's that's more of a yeah. statement slash comment because I, yeah. to me, a use case is you know um, when we're trying to demonstrate um, like how everything works end to end. For us, a use case is you have something running in the vehicle and it wants to talk to something running in the cloud, uh, an example of a, a use case. And then a reverse is another use case and a, in a vehicle is another use case. Is that what you guys are trying to tackle here with your definition of use cases? Basically, yeah. Uh, uh, for example, this one, uh, I wish Kai was here to, to comment more on, but I'll, I'll try to do some justice. Um, hardware is a little bit abstracted here. Um, um, it's basically, uh, uh, getting some data from the CAN bus uh, from the actual vehicle. And currently they're thinking about using maybe some recorded, pre-recorded data, but there's some, some privacy issues with those. So maybe it will come from a simulation. Then it will flow through. In this case, it's more of a sort of turning into VSS signals and using Chariot as the, uh, the middleware to distribute this uh, information in the vehicle, then use uh, some of the, uh, the other technologies to push it up to the cloud. So. Uh, of course, it's missing some of these pieces like uh, U protocol. You know, how can you address because we don't have a solution for that yet. So if these things come and if that's a requirement that we need to address, uh, um, that that would be um, a good thing to do. I have to say that there is uh, a more unified view of how things should happen, not necessarily addressed by any of the um, uh, the uh, the SDV projects yet, which uh, Daniel here. Uh, uh, was leading the technical alignment groups. So there's actually another picture that's a top down picture where uh, we're trying to put these technologies in there and, and see what we're missing. So there's lots of gaps, obviously. Yeah, yeah but this is essentially the idea that we want to One quick comment or suggestion what we could do to get out of that confusion of distro and use case, etc. We, we could take some inspiration from the Sophie guys and just call all of that kind of thing a blueprint or like a bunch of blueprints. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do, right? Showcase how to build a certain scenario using those elements. And every other word is also biased, like probably more biased, but blueprint mm -hmm. might work. Yeah. yeah so it's my fault that I misused the word first, but uh, we can change it to so, whatever you like. So there's been a lot of discussion. <laughs> we shouldn't call the use case. It should be showcase or something else. Or exactly. so. But it's basically yeah. there's these technologies, and if you get Felipe and me and you know uh, Gabriela next to you, you can maybe build, you know do something. But we want to put it into a box so that exactly. you can run it on your own, and and uh, this shouldn't take you more than maybe half an hour, not three four days. And then you know, judge it for yourself. Yeah. That was the idea. So, 